why the slacks have been there since 1950s, the mom jeans have been there since 1990s, um, power suits are the child of 1980s. Um, the difference is maybe that now in 2020 and 2021 we are doing all of that together. Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel, my name is Sopo and I'm filming another fashion video for you today. Now, lastly on my channel I filmed a petite styling video and that was the result of the voting which I did uh, on my Instagram, which I'm gonna insert over here in case you want to check it out. But I only realized in the process of filming that the votes changed in favor of the second option, which was about oversized styling. So here I am doing it for you because you voted for that as well. Um, and I'm very glad to discuss this topic because it is something which uh, most of the people struggle with, even when being normal size, especially being petite, that's even double struggle. Um, so my tip is going to be directed a little bit more based on the experience of a petite girl when trying to do a good balanced oversized styling however um, they are pretty generic and can be taken on board by anyone really so for those who are new here i'm five foot two which makes 154 centimeters short um, hope this serves as a reference and example for you when i'm discussing all those points also if you're new here and you have not still subscribed to this button i don't even know what you are waiting for do that. Um, joke aside, um, I would be very, very glad to see you on board. Uh, I'm filming about anything and everything that my heart desires from food vlogs, um, what I eat in a day, some normal vlogs, if there is anything remarkable to record on the camera, uh, beauty and fashion related videos. Actually, the diversity and the lack of focus um, on one topic is making it very difficult for this channel to grow. But if you are uh, like me and want to be truthful to your hobbies, and to yourself um, and you appreciate my honesty about all um, that I'm putting out here as a content I would be very very glad to see you um, join the club um, now without further ado let's get started oversized clothing is a thing since many years now in fashion and looking at the 2021 fashion shows it's not going anywhere and why would it it's all about leisure and comfort mixed with the effortlessness and ease of dressing but it's not an easy look to achieve already for a normal size body not to talk about the petite body so the question is how to do an oversized um, styling balanced one without looking like you don't know your actual size or not looking like a kid who has not grown to the full size of the outfit which the mother got with the hope of covering next few years. Oversized clothes are bigger than you actually are or the, the size that you need as the name suggests so no wonder that tall supermodel tall slim girls are very prone to dress um, the oversized clothes, making them feel more feminine and more small, like if they just woke up and threw on their boyfriend's shirt or boyfriend trousers and went out on the porch to grab their morning um, magazine. But that's not the case for most of us. Here are my tips for that. First, buy oversized, don't buy too big. I can imagine that a lot of you have made the same mistake that I've made before. Uh, going out to buy your perfect oversized cardigan or uh, trousers and buying something with a size up or even two sizes up and it never ever sits properly especially being petite girl you all probably know the struggle of sleeves and the length of the trousers elbows and knees never really sit properly and unless the piece is tailored intentionally as an oversized fit those critical areas where the tailoring has to go exactly the way it is intended um, it will sit wrong and make the overall look look very very off second i mentioned this in another video which i'm going to link somewhere here but I'm gonna repeat shortly here as well. If you're new to, to the topic, don't go all boggy when it comes to oversized styling. Dip your toes very, very gently into the new area. Pick one oversized item and try to arrange rest of the accessories or rest of the clothing pieces around the look so that it balances pretty well. Um, doesn't matter what is an oversized item that you're picking, is it an oversized shirt, t-shirt, bag, accessory, coat, blazer. The importance is the balance that you put with this one oversized item and the rest of the items in the look. Third, 
when it comes to oversized styling, make belts your best friends, especially the waist belts if you're petite. Now, what do belts do? They try to stinge in at the most narrow part of our body, making us look more feminine, but also breaking that drapey look that might make us look like we are on our way to the bed. You remember that slouchy sets that we all use as pyjamas? That might be the look, but it's not the look that we are going for. Uh, when doing the oversized styling. Belts work perfectly with the oversized chunky knit dresses with the structured boxy men wear blazers, you know those ones where the shoulders are hanging and sleeves are long and they are cut very very boxy. It looks as well awesome with boxy t-shirts like this one where the shoulders are hanging down and the sleeves are rolled up um, or those uh, band t-shirts which are square and long and you don't really know for whom it was cut. It works as well perfect over the coats. Um, there you might need a little bit bigger belt because of the natural volume of the coat or you might pick up the coat which has its own belt. Talking about that, it's a big trend right now to get coats which have their own belt and stinches in on the waistline. I'm gonna pick a few of my favorites and link below from Prada Nylon coats to more affordable high street brands. There are tons of options right now for good belted coats. So if you're looking for an option in the direction, this is now the right time to Get your hands on one. Fourth, just because I mentioned the oversized shirts and t-shirts in the previous point, I want to continue on that topic because I'm wearing one right now as well. To diversify your looks and not be always bound to the belt, what you can do as well is to tie the knot in front. This way you will still achieve the leaner waistline without compromising the more loose fit on above. Also, if the sleeves of your boxy t-shirts are very, very long and come down to the elbow, compromising the length of your arm and um, makes your forearm look very very short. What you can do is also to roll the sleeves up without even making too much an effort to make it look even. That gives more comfortable, effortless but uh, definitely a cool look. Another thing what you can do is obviously to go and try the crop tops when it comes to more loose fits. I won't go into this topic in depth because I talked about it a lot in the previous video which I'm gonna link somewhere here. But when it comes to sweatpants and sweatshirts and hoodies, there are tons of options which are cropped in a way that it shows as well the waistline, um, the narrow waistline of yours, a little bit of skin or tight tank top which you're wearing underneath yet still being oversized on the top and pairing very very good together. Especially Especially if you're wearing those two-piece sets of loungewear with sweatshirts and sweatpants, it can often look um, very off, especially on a petite body, because it is like very loose and slouchy look on loose and slouchy look, especially paired with some daddy trainers or some comfortable shoes, making you look very very condensed and somewhat off. I think um, having this breakage and having the top part at least lightly cropped um, will definitely bring some type of excitement into the look. Again, being a petite girl often calls for special measures when it comes to oversized styling. Um, for me, goal is to look tomboyish but still look chic, put together and smart when trying to achieve the perfect oversized uh, look. So um, that sort of binds with the previous point that I was talking about. If you're um, trying to put together such sets like loungewear sets with top sweatpants and sweatshirt, at least to try to pair it and style it with um, other items or shoes that might show the thinnest parts of your body. So for petite girls like me, I think it's a good way to go with high heels or some type of pumps because that elongates the silhouette, also balances the slouchy with a bit more smart look. If you don't want to wear high heels, you can do as well boots. And there are tons of boots which have either a um, narrow toe line, which elongates again the silhouette, or have very thin top rise on the ankle. There you can tuck in, for example, your uh, tracksuit, whatever you are um, wearing, and then showing that you have still this definition on, on your legs and the thinness, uh, which again is sort of like a balance as opposed to this drapey look that you have from neck to downwards. Same, if you're wearing shorts, try to wear them short, like cropped in a way that they are above the knee and tighter. vis a -vis the sweatshirt, which is already baggy on the top, or the very boxy, large menwear size blazer, so to balance it out. I personally really, really love such sets where there is like oversized blazer with um, wide-legged shorts paired, but unless you are supermodel, thin and tall, 
I can barely imagine it suiting anyone. Oversized styling can be a little bit challenging, not only for petite girls, but also for plus size, especially when additional elements come into play. Um, let's talk about prints and especially busy prints. For the longest time ever, I really, really wondered why uh, flower print looked so bad on me. And I think it is because it is very, very overpowering on my petite body, especially when paired with larger size clothes. It is a big no-no um, for petite girls, in my opinion. The rule of thumb goes like that. Pick the plain colors, plain prints, when you are trying to make the perfect oversized look. For yourself. Lastly, accessories. I think accessories play a huge role in an outfit and I really really love jewelry. I love layering them and I love layering them in different tones. Sometimes it can be really too much to be very honest in my case. So um, picking the right jewelry can um, dress the outfit up or dress it down, especially when it comes to such loungewear and oversized pieces adding good jewelry can make it chic and classy definitely so when you are picking the jewelry try not to go over the board especially for example the big big hoops which hang and up to the shoulder can swallow up the petite body so a lot that it might make you look that you don't have neck at all so um, there is a general saying that dentier jewelry looks better on petite girls than the chunkier ones that might be true in some cases but if you really really like chunkier pieces and chunkier jewelry you don't have to completely skip on that. I think the key is again to balance. Don't do chunky necklace with chunky earrings and chunky rings that might overpower and kill your outfit. So pick one item and once again revolve the rest of the items around it so that it makes a perfect mix. And in the example that I gave with the big hoops, for example, I think they're making a little bit more cleavage or open neckline, having your hair in a messy bun up can support such looks. So you just have to test it for yourself. I also have very little shoulders, so I have to put everything this in combination when trying to put the outfit. It's not that I'm spending all day, every day in front of the mirror, but I think it becomes self-intuitive and you just find the things that fits for you best. But as a general rule, I think, um, the bigger the jewelry there should be less of a hair and should be a lot more skin same goes for the handbags you guys all know that most of my handbags are in mini size and that's not random um, i know that a lot of people love totes for work they are so convenient for shopping doing groceries you can chuck in everything and carry your own sink with you as they say um, but uh, Truth being said, that's not the best look when it comes to petite bodies. Obviously with totes, there are also relatively smaller totes, but I'm talking about general right now. Um, try to pick the handbags so that they don't overpower you. I often say that some of the handbags might carry you instead of you carrying them, and that's definitely not the look you should be aspiring to. So will it be a tote bag or top handle bag or crossbody or shoulder bag? Try so that it is proportional to your body, especially with crossbody bags. They often have such long, long chains that they hang very, very low on you, and especially paired with baggy and big clothes it really looks like that you are not aware of your size i often try to tie such um cross body chains so that it sits a little bit up or when when buying any handbag always checking if there is a possibility for adjusting the strap the handbags that sit a little bit shorter make it look like that the handbag is a little bit too little for your bigger body which you don't really have in reality so that is prettier look in my opinion than handbag hanging very low up to your knee uh, similarly top handle handbags often look very classy and bring smartness to otherwise more cozy and comfortable outfits which is often achieved via oversized looks so that's that's a good good balance in my opinion as well lastly before ending this video i wanted to say that it would be a mistake to think that oversized styling is something new as with everything else in fashion all that is new in fashion is well forgotten old as they say why the slacks have been there since 1950s the mom jeans have been there since 90 90s um, power suits are the child of 1980s um, the difference is maybe that now in 2020 and 2021 we are doing all of that together so I don't know how long it will stay in fashion but while it is there I think we should all try our best to make best out of it and I hope my tips are somewhat useful for all of you out there in this process uh, let me know if you liked this video let me know if there is anything else you would want me to film 
them. I'm always as well, little brainstorming for myself what could it be as well um, a good video idea for you. Uh, leave in the comment section below, check out the description box. I always leave some links um, and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time um, and stay healthy.